come. But um, seven of the eight players in our top eight will be competing tomorrow in a special invitational event hosted by myself and Hit Point Tournaments. It's called Players Ball Midwest. You may have seen the tri-state variant back in July. Basically, everyone's going to be showing up in their Sunday best. I'll button this. Yep. That'll be <laughs> my only change. <laughs> He's playing, guys. He's got a full suit. Right? Um, <laughs> but yeah, uh, and it's going to be a $50 entry fee tournament for roughly 30 of the best players in the Midwest. We wanted to get a, a full 32-man bracket, but not everyone can make it. Either way, enough about that. Tune in now to our much-anticipated winner's finals, Zenodo versus Yeti. Super looking forward to this one. Zenodo long considered the best player in the Midwest, right? kind of just stopped going to stuff this year. It's not like he fell off. It's not like he has any mm. bad placements, right? But a man who has made a claim to that title, a very convincing one, is Yeti. He was actually the first seed of this entire tournament with Zenodo in second. And Minnesota always was one of those, like, overlooked areas. I'm not, I'm not saying they were bad. I'm not saying no, they, no, they were, absolutely not. They were known as, like, the land of the mid-tiers because they have, you know, Yeti was originally just all Toon Link, and then he played, like, some Falcon and some and some Mega Man, as we now see. Uh, we have Scorpio, the, the Robin player, uh, his brother Shinjobi, the Greninja. Right. I used to look at their results there and be like, are these guys allergic to winning? <laughs> and then I saw them play, and I'm like, oh, oh. Turns out I just had some gross misconceptions about this game. Uh, Minnesota, definitely a region that will show you that. And Yeti's level up is definitely a testament to the, the quality of play he gets on the local basis. Do not forget that your locals make you the player you are. And it definitely shows here as Yeti has made a name for himself on the national stage. But he finds himself behind here against the veteran, the, uh, the stoic, Zenodo. Mr. 3000 himself. <laughs> Just got to throw one in there every time he's on stream. I can't That's your budget. Yeah. <laughs> your budget is, has been blown. Yes. Uh, it was worth it though, but Zenodo. Oh yes, Ooh. I love the tech chase there. Can I catch the uh, the neutral get up? Down smashes him. Pretty much uh, did his weakest kill move, I'd say. Like, and the ones that can be classified as kill moves. Mm. That's toward the the bottom end of knockback, but enough to get it done here, even on the very heavy Mega Man. And that chase continued all the way to the right side. As soon as you thought, like, surely he's only going to throw four moves at me. Yet he throws the fifth, and that's the back air. The one that takes the stock, and suddenly we have another even game. Well, almost that dash grab. That could have been a big opening for Yeti. Mega Man gets a decent amount of stuff off of down throw. Well, they're both trying to grab each other. These guys, mini grapplers in their own right for sure, especially because of how much they condition you into blocking. Oh, what? That Ooh. banana went right through him. Or Mega Man's hard landing lag animation is very low to the ground. It's a probably that. Um, this Metal Blade is just trying to catch all these cross-ups, and suddenly the Ledge Trapper was Ledge Trapped. But the Monkey Flip, of course, one of the greatest get-out-of-jail-free situations uh, ever was invented in a game of Smash 4. <gasps> yeah, we're talking about Bouncing Fish and Nom Set, right? But this <laughs> one comes back when you hit him out of it, so <laughs> I think we could definitively say Monkey Flip's probably the best one. It's like super disjointed. Yep. And it's a great move. Beats Shield, beats Not Shield. Enough about that, though. We're seeing Ooh. Zenodo climb back into the lead here. This has been such a back-and-forth match. Now Yeti S taking his time on the edge there. Not quite enough distance to reach with the back air out of his up air. Now just trying to make sure this banana does not meet the mark. But, okay, chasing with the forward air. If that were back air, I'm sure that would have been a KO, but no reverse air or rush coming out from Zenodo. Going to buy a little bit more mileage out of the stock for Yeti. Oh no! Double no! He, I think he wanted back throw, and Yeti gonna drop the first game. Both of them having a moment of sheer spaghetti in the right corner, and man, Zenodo somehow coming out on top of that. That was <laughs> that was nerve-wracking <laughs> to say the least. Sometimes it be like that, and sometimes like that it be. Very wise. <laughs> But the, the, the veteran status may have come into play a little bit there and, the, and just those nothing's working, nothing's working, get it. Get it done. Either way, amazing showing from both of these guys. Reason why, uh, there are reasons why. They're two of the best, uh, if not the two best in the Midwest at this point. And uh, here's a claim I will make, absolutely. Uh, number one, number two, I'm not going to say which order. Number one, number two, best item users in the Midwest. Oh, true. And we're going to see some yeah. catches, some throws. We, we already saw Zenodo using the Metal Blade like a banana. We already saw uh, Yeti using the banana like a Metal Blade. Yep. That's guaranteed to be happening in every direction you look in this game. And we were talking about how Nom and Ned weren't quite taking the projectile items away from Mega Man and Diddy in their sets, right? But mm. these two, not afraid to play the, the opposite item game, right? They're very confident in their control, their Z drops, etc. Oh, 
Yeti almost getting a, some kind of opening off of that, but Zenodo's just been in control. And the catch right back, right through the neutral air. I'm surprised the neutral air didn't even hit the banana, even slightly, but not trying to cross up every which way. Diddy not having any of it. And this peanut going to continue this ledge pressure. Yeti trying to fight his way back to the center of the stage, back to the ground. It's a tough position overall. Wow, Mega Man sinks like a rock. That got him out of the down tilt. But that being heavy like a rock got him out of death from that particular up air situation. All right. Let's see if second time's the charm. Oh, yeah. Yes. There we go. Zenodo cleaning it up. And man, this matchup used to be, and still is, I'd say, considered a bit difficult for Diddy Kong just because Mega Man has one projectile game that can tangle the Diddy's. Mm. Two, because of the way that the lemons work, they're going to clank out the banana Zenodo, throws. what are you doing? Zero to 65, basically. Wow. All right. He's yeah. moving. Forget about this matchup. Zenodo right now rewriting the book. He's got him stuck in the corner yet again, but Yeti. Fights his way out just briefly. Zenodo's still able to capitalize. And this is looking like a complete shutdown. Zenodo saying, hey, man, you got a ways to go before you take my title. We'll see if he can seal the deal here. Very close. That down tilt, not going to quite kill with the up smash yet. I think we, he recognized that from the earlier one where he just barely lived off the top of the screen. Going to wait to combo this, this chunky Mega Man until a little later. But now maybe it doesn't work with the DI far away. Oh! <laughs> Sending him to the depths. But, of course, 147. That's a lot of damage. That's an up smash away from death. That's a lot of things away from death. But we'll see how Yeti's able to maintain composure. Of course, I've seen crazier comebacks. I'm sure you have, too. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, wow, that didn't do it. No rage on a character who's super good at surviving vertically. And, and Yeti is... Being kind of aggressive with his pushes forward, but it's just making sure that all those lemons connect. It's kind of like an aggressive defense right. using that tool. Oh, wow, right in front of his face. Oh, and yet he's still moving forward and then immediately backward. <laughs> Again, this is, this is getting very down to the wire here. A rage monster is Mega Man. You can find one of those yeah. crazy combos. Oh, okay, I don't know what Yeti was going for there, but it was crazy. Oh, the back throw's enough to do it too, even from a bit away from the edge. Yeti, hey. playing with fire constantly here. How did he sneak past the back oh, air? But okay, not Zenodo that shuts the door. Wow, that was insane. Uh, this, you almost couldn't ask for a better winner's finals. I just want to see it go to game five. I don't care who walks away with it. <laughs> this is a title match. This is effectively who will walk away from Smash 4 known as the best player in the Midwest. Yeti, again, very strong claim to the title, but Zenodo shutting him down, saying, just because you haven't seen me doesn't mean that I fell off. Just now, busy. Now, this remind, uh, we talked about the, the first retro arena where Yeti did beat, uh, did beat Zenodo. Right. Zenodo also lost to Elegant in winner's finals, and then Yeti made the run through losers. That was, that was how the tournament occurred, if you, didn't, if you weren't watching that live. And I remember talking to Zenodo about it. He, Zenodo did not go to Big House, but that was the next week. And Zenodo yeah. did go to the weekly before uh, the Little Big House series, if you're familiar with that. Uh, Gushi streams it. It's a great time. Yeah, yeah, of course. Shout out to Gushi. And Zenodo actually won that over Elegant. Oh, he got first with that one? I actually didn't check the results. Yeah, so. and I talked to Zenodo about it. And he won it like, over you know, all the Japanese players that were Yeah, yeah. And he told me, I just hate it when I lose the run back. Like, he's the kind of person, you can you beat me the first time, but I'm going to get the run back. This is that run back from Retro Arena, and this is a studied Zenodo who I think is ready to just silence any claims that Yeti might be better than him in the Midwest. That, I think that's what this set means to him. Yeah, and you know, that train of thought, that uh, standard he holds himself to with the run backs, very reminiscent of another Diddy Kong player whose tag begins with Z, right? <laughs> and you've seen that happen with Zero. You know, he. he Rarely lost the same person twice. Either way, man, we've got the character switch, which, we, which we've yet to mention here from Yeti. Gonna go to his original main, Toon Link. Of course, still no slots with this character, even though Mega Man might be a little bit more in favor in today's metagame. But the DI on that forward smash, I actually like that a lot. You almost like send him like way too high, but you can trust the higher ceiling in Battlefield, just DI it straight in that direction. Oh! Oh, oh and that still hit! <laughs> oh, I is love so both crazy. these players, man. They're so sick. Okay, gonna rip right through that banana with Zare and Zenodo scared in the corner. Battlefield, big blast zones too. I think that was just outside of the KO window on any stage. Maybe maybe Smashville, but uh, yeah, man. Still hanging on here. Oh, he gets the bomb, but Yeti not believing in the fair. Back air off the top. 
What is going on? This guy's tech chases. Looking clean. That's like the classic brawl back air. Remember when that was like a reliable, regular kill move? Uh, just a move in general. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's quite the shadow of itself, but Yeti. Still comes in handy. Yeah, Yeti showing that Toon Link, despite some downgrades from the previous version of Smash, can still hang with the best of them. Oh, yeah, I was going right. to say, he's looking for this up tilt so hard right now, and the DI from Yeti might not have been optimal there. I feel like he still had a few more percent to go. That was a shield poke, right, I think? Uh, I think so. Hit or the twinkle toes. Yeah, or maybe he jumped out of shield and caught him. Either way, both of these guys putting on an excellent showing of Smash 4 right now with two projectile and item-based characters. Uh, they're not even making it campy. <laughs> no, they're in. They're using them to aid their aggression. This is absolutely some aggressive item play from both of them. And oh, look at these reads right now that Yeti's going for. Oh, he jump. got that snipe. Oh, Yeti, what are you, what are you doing, man? I think he meant to, to jump up B? Maybe. I if he did, that's even crazier. Right? It's it's really hard for me to get into the thought process of Yeti in general as right. a player because he just goes for the stuff. Yeah, he sees like, everything, including the Cinnamon Toast Crunch thing, you know. <laughs> but, uh, it's the taste only Yeti can see. Right. <laughs> Either way, man, uh, I just want to point out how Yeti uses the returning hitbox of Toon Link's boomerang. Mm -hmm. Again, almost like a Marvel assist. Right? Oh, and he's trying to cover the rolls, the bombs backwards. This guy's doing crazy. Uh, talking about Mensa, this guy is the president. <laughs> of Mensa, not of the United States. Either. Anyway, um, put a little juice on that forward smash. Almost enough to take out the kid, but he's living for now. Next one won't miss the mark, though. Yeah, Zenodo still has to build a little bit more damage. No, maybe not. No, okay. Wide boundaries here on Battlefield. He's going to go deep, but that, oh, okay. It's actually going to close the door on Yeti 3 0. Zenodo saying, remember the king. He doesn't lose the run back. No, he doesn't. Apparently not, at least. Uh, and that set, talking about that Zenodo Elegant set from last time, that 